What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe. Hopefully, you had a great weekend. And if you had to take a COVID test over the weekend, I really hope you tested negative. If you ended up testing positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery. It's time now for the Monday edition of the Pandemic Update for Monday, June 12th, 2023. We decided to give the Pandemic Update a day off yesterday. We did do the wastewater and we did that special report on Interstate 95 here in Philadelphia, which is uh, still a big problem. And we do have a few news reports to uh, get through today. And we also have Walgreens and there's a few more wastewater sites that I want to show you that we did not get to yesterday. I forgot to do some of the southeast states yesterday. Like I always say, you just can't get through all of them. So we're going to get through all that and some other data as well. Starting off, India logs, 92 fresh COVID cases. And I'm not seeing any new deaths reported for India today. So that's good news that they don't have any uh, new deaths reported. Now this, remember Rochelle Lewinsky? Uh, she's going to be stepping down, you know, the CDC director, soon to be former CDC director. Well, Wilinski is going to face House COVID panel before stepping down as CDC head. Rochelle Lewinsky, director of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, will testify before the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic on Tuesday to discuss the decision her agencies made during the pandemic and whether you agree with her decisions or not she's going to talk to them tomorrow and this is going to be her final appearance that she makes in front of the uh, republican-led panel all right moving on to this uh next uh thing white house get this the white house is mandating mask again this is from the new york post i'm not a particular fan of the new york post but it does get the point across the white house ended the national emergency over the covid 19 pandemic weeks ago but is still mandating mask and social distancing for the unvaccinated at its events according to a report so that's really interesting that they still care that people wear a mask inside the white house if you're not vaccinated uh, really interesting to say the least, that they're still even mentioning masks at all because, again, they declared that the pandemic was over. As we know, it's not. There's still cases happening. Uh, COVID's still happening, and we come to this. No, the COVID pandemic isn't over. And there's something we got to scroll down into this. And in this story, it's pretty deep down here, but I want you to read this. Why does the variation impact COVID-19's pandemic classification? And it says here, simply put, if the virus is circulating, it's also mutating. As we learned during the Delta variant surge, some of those mutations can have devastating consequences. See? So basically, yeah, the pandemic's not over. And as long as there are still cases out there, there could be new variants. Remember, we're talking about Delta here in this article. There have been many, many new variants since Delta including or mainly so the omicron and its whole family of subvariants there have been many subvariants of omicron and right now we are dealing with uh xbb15 here in the united states which is the dominating variant but you'll see all the variants in a little bit all right taking a look at the website i did make a little bit more progress trying to get these topics uh, split up still 99 there and there's going to be some that stay in this uh, section which will eventually become tv personalities and i think there'll probably end up being about 20 or so that stay in there i don't know i'm going to do a little more later today all right moving on to walgreens it's monday monday meaning we have to do walgreens but there's a disclaimer that we have to read about Walgreens. Let's go over to the third page. Walgreens says, this was an update they just did today, the subvariant map and variant tracker pages have been archived due to the low volume of sequenced data. No further weekly updates will be made to those these two pages. The National RSGTP Plus SGTF proportion trend graph will continue to be updated and has been moved to positivity map page. So unfortunately, we're losing more Walgreens data, but we did get an update this weekend. Quite frankly, I, I see what they're saying, but testing did go up this week. 
2,204 tests versus 1,965. But there is some bad news. So apparently this will probably be the last week we get to see this. Uh, we're going to get that other map where it says, I guess, subvariant map or something like that. We'll go through it when the time comes. But uh, let's go through the national and then we'll go through a few states because I looked at a few states before doing this video. And there's some concerning ones, that's for sure. Current week, 23.1%. Prior week, 23%. Uh, difference of 0.1% up. But if you look at the chart, looks like it's uh, starting to go up. It looks like it wants to go up relatively quickly. So that's concerning. Any of these states that are in white, I believe, are not updating. Yeah, I can't even click on them. But we can click on New York State. New York State. 34% positivity this week. 28.1% last week uh testing is down it's 47 versus 64 5.9 percent positivity increase then we come over to massachusetts 28 percent positivity this week 17.2 percent last week difference of up 10.8 percent it is 25 tests versus 29 some of it's because of testing but honestly i think this could be a legitimate rise then we come down to connecticut and Connecticut, this is truly concerning. 33.3% this week, 16.7% last week. That's a difference of up 16.7% and testing's flat. So yes, Connecticut, this is definitely a legitimate rise. And look at the chart. It is rapidly going up. Where are we seeing another legitimate rise? Where else? The New Jersey state. You know, the New Jersey shore. I'm sure a lot of this is because of the shore. And this is actually even more concerning than Connecticut. 24.3% this week, 10% the previous week, 14.3% increase, but testing is 70 tests this week, 60 last week. Yeah, 10 tests more, and you're still seeing this much of a rise. And look at the chart. It's rapidly going up. So New Jersey is concerning. How about Delaware? Uh, could Delaware be concerning too? Remember, this is probably from uh, Memorial Day weekend. Okay, now Delaware the prior week was 0.0%. We know that was wrong. 20% positivity this week, 10 versus 11. Then you come down here to Virginia, 21.4% uh, this week, 14.6% last week. Again, that's a 6.8% increase with 56 tests this week, 48 last week. Again, Another legitimate rise. This is this is not good, my friends. This could signal uh, a potential increase in cases in multiple areas. Here you go. Ohio, 22.4% this week, 12.9% last week, 9.5% difference, 49 tests versus 31. I know we're dealing with small amounts of testing, but really, this uh, it's, it's concerning to see this rising. Now, at the same time, some of these states I just showed you, aside from New York State, some of the states I just showed you, do have decreasing wastewater, which is also a good signal. But again, I said this yesterday. Some people are telling me they're in a dark blue area, which represents low wastewater. And they're saying, oh, no, we know multiple people positive or we have a household positive or whatever the case may be. So it's really tough to navigate this pandemic right now. They're really making it hard to figure out what the actual level is in your area because you can't even always go by wastewater at this point just based on reports that i'm hearing and plus this is conflicting so like we see ohio right you know 9.5 percent increase and 49 tests versus 31 but yet i showed you a whole bunch of wastewater sites yesterday i can show you them again today it's showing that they're dropping but yet walgreens is increasing so that's concerning how about illinois 22.4%. This week, 18.2% last week. Difference of up 4.2%. You can see here on the chart, it's starting to go up faster. 125 tests versus 110. And we'll just do one more here. Let's go out to Washington State, because I want to add some more of these in tomorrow as well. 25% positivity this week, 14.6% last week, 10.4% different over last week but one important thing that you do see here is testing is significantly down 28 versus 48 but again look at the chart it is rapidly rising we'll add some more states in tomorrow because there are some other things we want to get to here such as the bno weekly update new cases 69,111 the average is 54,682 that is down 
by 1,768 states reporting 31 versus 50. Yeah, I know, 19 states did not report. In the hospital, 9,112. That's down by 945. Remember, in a lot of cases, people going to the hospital are not being tested for COVID. I personally know people who have had to take an ER visit, and they weren't even tested for COVID. And who knows if they had it or not. Uh, in the ICU, 1,440. That's down by 99. New deaths last week, 847. The average is 973. That's down by 78. Moving on to this day in COVID history, we do have something from yesterday. It says CDC releases data in MMWR showing that while most COVID-19 associated hospitalizations occur in older adults, severe disease requiring hospitalizations can occur in all age groups, including adolescents ages 12 through 17 years old. So we do know that it, a COVID hospitalization can happen in any age group. There was a um, child who died here in Philadelphia last year who wasn't even over 18 years old, school student, and she died of COVID. All right, moving on to this, wastewater across the country is relatively flat or dropping in all the bio bot analytics regions. All right, we do want to take a look at a few wastewater sites that we missed yesterday. First off, let's move myself over here so you can see the chart. New sites, 132, 0 through 19 percent, 726, 20 percent to 39 percent wastewater as you see here in the different colors is 391 percent 40 to 59 percent detected 104 sites 60 to 79 percent in orange is 22 sites and 80 to 100 percent there's seven sites of that let's take a look at down here like around atlanta shall we uh cobb county look at this dropping 190,000 people at this wastewater site that's good to see because it was low to moderate this one clayton ooh already moderate to near high and it is rapidly rising 123,000 people at that wastewater site that is concerning taking a look here at Buford uh, it is high but it is dropping 20,000 people at that wastewater site we want to come down here to near New Orleans area and let's take a look here here we go Orleans 389,000 people at this wastewater site it is low to near We'll just call it low at this time, to near moderate, I guess. And uh, it's starting to slightly rise. That's not good to see. Let's take a look at Orlando. Here's Orange uh, County. And 59,587 people at this wastewater site. Rapidly rising. Maybe, just maybe, the summer surge is going to come pretty soon in the south. That's one of the reasons why it was so important that... I come back and we take a look at some of these southern sites because remember, the South does usually see a summer surge of COVID when people flock inside to the air conditioning. 277,000 people in this sewer shed. And yes, it is slightly starting to rise. Here's Palm Beach, 300,000 people. That's starting to rise. Miami-Dade, 776,000 people. That's starting to rise. Then we come over here to Sarasota, 100,000 people, but it is dropping at this time. And we come over here to closer to the Tampa Bay area, 220,000 people. And look, yes, it is starting to rise. And let's just end it on Alabama. And looks like Alabama doesn't update that frequently. And the sites that do are relatively flat at this time. So that's good to see, but very concerning about all those rises we are seeing in Florida. Alrighty, moving on to the CDC variant tracker. As you know, if you have seen my previous videos, uh, XBB15 is still dominating at 39.9%. XBB116 this week is 18.2%. XBB191 is 12.5%. XBB116.1 is 8.4%. XBB192 is 8.4%. XBB2.3 is 6%. XBB is 3%, and XBB151 is 1.6%, with multiple variants that are below 1%. Moving on to the latest hospital ER visits. I don't know if this is updated yet. Yes, it has updated. And as you can see here, there are several different colors. The ones we concern ourselves are with the orange colors. And unfortunately, look at this. There's uh, multiple orange colors starting alaska utah wyoming nebraska 
Florida, Virginia, it's this one, Maryland, New York State are all seeing increases now in the number of people that are starting to visit the emergency department for COVID. That's not good to see. Again, like I said, we saw some of those counties or some of those states in the north and in the west where wastewater was dropping. And some of those same ones where we saw wastewater dropping are now seeing emergency department visits starting to increase. So I'm starting to become concerned now because we're seeing these mixed signals. We saw Walgreens earlier. That was starting to rise. Uh, normally, I would trust wastewater, but I'm a little in doubt at the moment. But you definitely saw Florida. It matches here. Florida definitely matches up. We saw Florida emergency visits are increasing. Wastewater is increasing. That we can say with confidence, yes. Florida, the summer surge is probably likely starting for you. And you do have some uh, areas where uh, COVID emergency visits are either flat, you know, actually they call it stable, or moderately decreasing or substantially decreasing. Maine is substantially decreasing this week. Last week it was substantially increasing. So I guess that's good to see. Alrighty, moving on here to New Jersey. Uh, this is concerning as well. Based on this data that we saw from Walgreens, only 63 out of 70 hospitals reported. But there's still 203 hospitalizations. So if all hospitals reported, uh, this number would definitely probably go up. Nine people on a ventilator and 20 people in the ICU. All right, Philadelphia. It was an extremely busy weekend for the fire department. Uh, they actually did not tweet out a number for yesterday. They did, did tweet out a number for Saturday. I'm just going to show you the combined weekend total. 1,529 EMS incidents. I can tell you the higher number of that probably came from yesterday based on what I saw for Saturday's number. And as you know, they were also busy with the fire situation as well. You know, I-95 collapsed here. Truck caught on fire. Taking a live look at what's going on right now in the Philadelphia suburbs and as you can see here it's not terribly busy in the suburbs of philadelphia with exception to chester county here we do have some sick patients and a bunch of different things going on there all right new york state new york state today uh concerning 241 people have tested positive since the previous update and the test positivity is now 5.2%. That's starting to run a little bit high. It's higher than what we finished out on the update last week. The seven-day average is now 4.2%. Moving on to New York State hospitalizations. And as you can see here for hospitalizations, uh, 493 people in the hospital as of the end of last week, 58 people in the ICU, and we'll check on New York City. I believe New York City is dropping still as well. Yeah, 188 people hospitalized and 108, or excuse me, 22 people in the ICU. So not rising yet, but we'll have to see. We'll get the new update for this week. Usually comes out on Tuesday. So we'll have that for you tomorrow if and when it comes out. And hopefully it's not rising, but you know what it's possible it could be because again that positivity is starting to go back up again and i think it's safe to say for many areas i think we're going to slowly start finding our way into the summer surge whatever that may be whatever variant that may be because remember we're still in variant soup around the country and let's take a look at the international picture here i'm going to update this again there we go and i'm going to move myself back to my normal spot on the right uh, south korea cases are down 14 percent deaths are down seven percent around the world cases are down 34 percent deaths are down 49 percent new zealand cases are down 16 percent however Deaths are now up 31%, 46 deaths this week versus 35 on the previous seven days. And coming down here, Italy, cases are down 44%. Deaths are down 34%. Thailand, cases now up 4%. Deaths are up 62%. Vietnam, cases down 47%. No reported deaths there. Guatemala, cases up 62%. Again, 0% uh, change on deaths, 2 versus 2. Then we come down here to Israel. Cases are up 12%. Deaths are up uh, 333%. Bangladesh, cases are up 24%. Deaths are up 500%, but that's because it's 5 versus 0 reported the previous week. And we will end today on Ireland, where cases are down 48%, and deaths are flat, 19 versus 19. 
Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Monday edition of the Pandemic Update. We will have another Pandemic Update again tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel down below where I provide these updates to keep you safe. And we also, from time to time, do special reports as well, like the one we did yesterday on I-95. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing another update on that or not. I don't think another one is needed. Just see my uh, Twitter account, at COVID Data Report. I'll be tweeting out updates there. And remember, I do have another uh, YouTube channel where I talk about the weather, which is called Climate Data Report. It's the same name as this channel. Just add on climate. Search Climate Data Report, and you will find it. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I will see you all again tomorrow, but until I see you again tomorrow, stay safe, everyone. Have a great evening.